I've had some interesting jobs in my life. This is one of them. From the brink of despair <coughs> that uh, Noel spoke about and the anger of the lack of support for things that would make a difference to the lives of people, young kids especially, to learn to read and to then have opportunities into marvellous discoveries at the highest levels of what reading can provide and analysis and all of those wonderful things. From the notion that hooks need to be put into the Constitution and there's a lot of sophistication around that and some of it's contained within the presentation. Far too extensive for me to speak of it in this short summary, but obviously worthy of study and consideration. The question of, this is not just for the recognition of Aboriginal people. This has got to be about the nation. It has got to be about the nation coming to terms, not only with its truth and the truth telling that Mick Gooder talked about, and the truth that underlies the dispossession and the truth that pertains to the racism that underpins public policy and the ignorance that goes with that. But it also goes to the fatigue, the wearing down of Indigenous peoples because bureaucracies and governments can do that. They have energy, they have resources, they have time. They can gloat in the forms of their conservatism and frustrate the energies of the leaders that seek to make things better for Indigenous people. People who talk in terms of thousands of years talk in terms of battles that have been fought only to see the victory overturned within the next day. People who still talk in terms of never surrendering. Never surrendering to the forces of assimilation, ignorance, bigotry, cruelty or brutalisation. The power that has to be put in, not only into the Constitution, but back into our communities. The responsibilities that we have as Indigenous peoples, the responsibilities to make sure our children are safe, to make sure our children are fed, to make sure that they have got the protections against those who would brutalise them from within our own society so that they can flourish and be the magnificent leaders that we want them to be as we go forward in the light of the marvellous traditions of the leaders that have preceded us. There are concrete realities to this. Economic enjoyment economic access and cultural recognition. That there is a unique, different, diverse culture in this nation and it has been present since the coming of the white man. What has happened is the lack of a real dialogue, a real understanding a real preparedness to actually listen and hear what it is that Indigenous peoples want and how it is they want to see that achieved. The instruments, the Council for Reconciliation, the instruments of the recognised campaign, the instruments of the Constitutional Council that are set up to enable this 
enunciation of the views and the aspirations and the concrete outcomes that Indigenous people want. And the day has come for us to take note. The day has come for us to take note. The sad part about this is that the parallel educational process is not happening in the Parliament of Australia. It is not happening in the Parliament of Australia. The games go on as if the spoils are theirs. And that is going to be an enormous challenge to achieving the high ground that Noel spoke about or the protections that Joe Morrison spoke about in terms of the Land Rights Act and Native Title Act or for the truth-telling that Mick Gooder spoke about in his plea for us to be open and to hear the truth of how this nation was stolen and taken from the people and how the Crown dishonoured itself in that process. Or to even hear what Mr Rose has said, that this is about all of us. It's not some concession to the natives. It is about this nation coming to terms with its dark, desperate and miserable history, but yet being able to celebrate the very things that Noel spoke about, the British tradition, the multiculturalism and the Indigenous heritage, and to intertwine that in a way that gives this civil state we call Australia a new identity a new capacity to do things differently. The simplicity of constitutional recognition and the set of words will preoccupy us at some stage, and certainly those of us in the parliament. Once the deliberations have been gone through by the refer referendum council, the instrument of the parliament itself has to prepare itself not only for the constitutional recognition, but for the agenda that needs to flow from there, which was also spoken about, the need for the post-recognition settlement, for a capacity to reshape the relationship and reprioritise the programs and the participation of the Aboriginal peoples within the delivery of those services and the control of those mechanisms. And if there's no preparedness to do that, then we are all wasting our time. And the taxpayers have been dudded because the effort to, that has gone in, in the words of Tanya Hosh, by the persistence and the holding up and the holding together of the aspiration of a reconciled Australia, of a renewed Australia, and one that has unity, that has been held together by the very fingernails of the Aboriginal people in the darkest times that have fluctuated. The intervention in the Northern Territory, the brutality that we saw in the Dondale Detention Centre and the ongoing cut to services in the public sector area. These things are not going to get better. That's the message we're hearing. We know we live in an economic time when the budget is going to be a huge battle to bring it into surplus. We know it's going to be a tremendous battle to live with some sense of largesse for all citizens in this nation. And that is what's going to cripple us as we go forward. And that comes to the point that Mick Gooder spoke about. When's the timing? The battle has been going on for years. The timing has to be right, and that is when the things are settled and known and clear. But it also has to go into the reality of the financial framework of this nation. Because when people's hip pockets start to hurt, their social generosity diminishes. And that's the climate we're also going into. So despite the hardness of hearts, the difficulties that we face on a regular basis, the lack of real preparation, 
across the Parliament of Australia, the financial realities that we are confronted with are also going to mitigate against us. So, again, in the words that Noel has raised, under this tent, he said, under this bow shed here that we sit, we are a few people. But the message has got to be clear to all other Australians that our nation has driven down, stomped on and derided the Aboriginal people. It is now time to release that jackboot. It is now time to look to the better things that we can do and despite the discomfort we might have through our own fiscal impost, we've got to fix up a huge injustice. That's the message I've taken from this. Thank you.